Conventional wisdom holds that frozen steaks should be thawed before cooking. We wondered if this time-consuming step was really worth it. To find out, we cut a strip loin into eight steaks, cut each steak in half crosswise, and then froze them. We thawed half of each steak in the refrigerator overnight and kept the other half frozen. We seared both sets of steaks in a hot skillet for 90 seconds per side, then transferred them to a 275 degree oven until they reached medium rare, or 125 degrees. Now to track moisture loss, we weighed each steak before and after cooking. Not surprisingly, the frozen steaks took longer to finish cooking in the oven, about 18 to 20 minutes versus 10 to 15 for the thawed steaks. What we did find to be surprising was that the frozen steaks actually browned in the skillet nearly as quickly as the thawed steaks. Most importantly though, they had a much thinner band of gray overcooked meat directly under the crust than the thawed steaks. We also found that these steaks lost on average about 9% less moisture during cooking. When we tasted them here in the test kitchen, we preferred the cooked from frozen steaks hands down. So why does this work? Well, a fully frozen steak is extremely cold. In most freezers, it'll be about zero degrees Fahrenheit. That means that the meat below the surface has a long way to go before it gets overcooked, while we can bring the exterior rapidly up to the very high temperatures we need for browning. As for the difference in moisture loss, we know that when meat is cooked to temperatures higher than 140 degrees, its muscle fibers begin to shrink and they squeeze out a significant amount of moisture. As its thicker gray band indicated, the steak that had been thawed was more overcooked around the edge, so it also makes sense that it lost more moisture. So how do we put all this good information to use? While we still prefer to start with a fresh steak, which will give us the best texture, we now have a brand new way to handle frozen steaks. There are a few keys to doing it right. If you simply pack a steak in a zipper lock bag and then freeze it, any moisture that's on the surface turns to a fine layer of ice. When this steak hits a hot oiled pan, the ice melts back to water, causing serious splattering and dangerous flare-ups. So to avoid this problem, you want to freeze the steaks as flat as possible, uncovered, on a parchment-lined baking sheet. This step dries out the surface so we get less splattering, as well as faster browning. Once the steaks are fully frozen, which depending on your freezer could be up to overnight, we want to wrap them in plastic wrap and then pop them in a Ziploc lock bag for storage. When it comes time to cook, use enough oil to fill the skillet about an eighth of an inch deep. This is more oil than we would normally use, but it serves two important functions. One, the oil is better able to reach crevices and folds in the steaks that may have developed during freezing. And two, more oil means we have a larger heat reserve and faster temperature recovery when we add the super cold steak to the pan. So there you have it, the best steak out of the freezer you'll ever eat. This is the science of good cooking.